Did you realize that a mother octopus gives up her life for her young? Or that certain monkey infants bear an uncanny resemblance to humans at birth? Even if you're well-versed in the world of animals, these newborns might still surprise you. Today, you're in for a treat. Join me in this video as we unveil some of the most astounding and unique baby animals you're likely seeing for the first time. Dive in. Sea Turtles What do all species of sea turtles known to science have in common? Besides, living in the water, of course. The answer is the amazing journey that newborn sea turtles must take to reach the adult world. Sea turtles prefer beaches or sandy coastal lowlands to dig a nest and lay their eggs there. This usually occurs at night at low tide. Most females are capable of laying eggs only once every three to four years. Female sea turtles can leave up to 100 eggs in a single clutch at a time. After a two-month incubation period, the little sea turtles are born and immediately rush toward the water, but not all of them manage to get to it. Many of them die on the way caught by predatory birds or lizards, but water cannot guarantee the absolute safety for newborn sea turtles either. According to biologists, only six sea turtles out of every thousand newborns reach adulthood. The rest don't reach reproductive age for various reasons, but predatory fish and human activity are considered the main ones. Pandas. Pandas are unique animals in many ways. Scientists classify them as part of the bear family, but recognize some of their traits as of raccoons. Despite the fact that pandas are considered predatory animals, they eat only bamboo. In the wild, pandas live only in China, where they are highly valued and even considered a symbol of the country. Curiously, in half of all cases, pandas give birth to twin cubs. However, it will be incredibly difficult for both of them to survive because pandas usually abandon their cubs immediately after their birth. Moreover, the mother will not have enough milk for both cubs in any case it's cruel. After all, what are the chances of survival for a naked, blind, toothless baby weighing only 90 to 130 grams? For comparison, an adult panda weighs 800 times more. Giant panda cubs become independent by their first birthday but continue to live with their mother for another six months until the mother panda becomes pregnant. At the age of one and a half to two years, the cubs leave their mother and begin a fully independent adult life. Hedgehogs. Many people adore hedgehogs, but the cute little animals we often see in pictures on the internet are not baby hedgehogs. In fact, newborn 10 to 12 grams. They're completely dependent on their mother and the mother takes care of them selflessly. As for fathers, they're not so favorable to the cubs and may even attack them. Only a few hours later, the hedgehog begins to cover itself with needles and the needle cover is fully formed by the 15th day of its life. The hedgehogs feed on the mother's milk for about a month, after which they begin their independent life by their first birthday, they're mature. Monkeys. There are about 400 different species of monkeys in the world but their cubs are similar in many ways. By the way, they also have a lot in common with human babies. Like us, monkeys belong to the class of mammals, which means that in early childhood, they can feed only on mother's milk and therefore become inseparable from them in the first month of life. Babies of most species simply climb on their mother's back and move with it. Monkey with the tiniest cubs in the world is the pygmy marmoset. This species is considered one of the smallest primates in the world. The adult is only 11 to 15 centimeters high, not counting the tail, which is 17 to 22 centimeters long. The weight of the pygmy marmoset ranges from 100 to 150 gram, and the weight of baby pygmy marmoset is only about 14 gram, but the largest monkey on the planet, the gorilla, usually has only one baby. The newborn has a weight of about 2 kilograms and is completely helpless. Curiously, some babies are born covered with white rather than black hair. The development of a gorilla cub is about twice as fast as that of a human baby, but much slower than that of lower primates, whose cubs can walk within a few days after birth. If the monkeys didn't surprise you too much, don't despair. The most interesting things are further. Many people are fans of raccoons, but almost no one has seen newborn animals of this species, 
And what about octopuses or tiny snakes? Stay tuned to see what these and other wonderful cubs look like. Let's move on. Raccoons. Raccoons have long been known around the world, but in recent years they've become increasingly popular in many countries in Europe and Asia. But the people of North America don't like raccoons. They consider them real furry bandits and often find these animals scattering garbage or stealing food from the kitchen. It's also not recommended to breed raccoons as pets. Even born in captivity, they remain wild animals by nature and can behave pretty aggressively. It's especially dangerous to take wild raccoons from the street into the house, as they can be carriers of several dangerous diseases, easily transmitted from animal to human. Newborn raccoons spend the first two months in the burrow where their mothers take care of them. The cubs begin hunting at the age of 12 weeks and at the age of one year, they become fully independent. By the way, despite their passion for garbage, raccoons are considered one of the cleanest wild animals. They first try to rinse their dinner in clean water. Octopuses. Despite their high intelligence, most octopuses live relatively short lives in the wild. Even the largest and most powerful members of the family rarely live longer than five years, and tiny species have a lifespan of just a few months when the female octopus lays eggs, it thinks big. There may be from 40,000 to 80,000 eggs in one clutch. Female octopus is the most loyal and caring mother in the animal world. The incubation period varies. On average, it is from four to six months, but sometimes can reach a year, and in rare cases, a few years. All this time, the female octopus incubates the eggs and does not eat. Studies have shown that before reproduction, octopuses cease production of enzymes necessary for digestion. Soon after hatching, the female octopus dies and the newborn octopuses begin to take care of themselves. Olets. Did you know that newborn olets hatch from an egg using a special tooth? The baby bird uses it just once to break through the shell from the inside. The tooth will never be used again, and at age of two weeks, it falls out by itself. Another curious fact, instead of laying all the eggs at once, owls do it for several days with small intervals. According to biologists, they do it to save the lives of the largest number of cubs, and it really works. However, the youngest owlets have a very hard time in such a situation because the older owlets in the nest get more food. Most species of owls don't build their own nests, but occupy ready-made dwellings of other birds. Often people find owls on the ground under such nests and think that the baby bird is in trouble and needs help. In fact, this is not true. The owlet is on the ground for a reason. Owls grow very quickly, so at the age of two months, they are already catching up to the adults in size. They have no choice but to go out into the adult world in search of a mate. Don't worry, most of them do just fine. Snakes. Unlike the other animals from today's video, snakes are not cute or funny. However, the lifestyle of these reptiles does not require them to be furry cuties. Each ecological niche has its own species of snakes. They fit perfectly into any ecosystem and survive in different conditions. Many animals feed their babies until they become adults, thereby helping them to survive in a dangerous environment. But snakes have a different strategy. The black bamba, one of the most dangerous snakes in the world, begins its mating season in the spring and by summer is already building a nest where it lays from 6 to 17 eggs. Usually, this is at the end of the parental duties of the species. In 80 days, the cubs of the black mamba are born alone. Newborn snakes are quite large. They're from 40 to 60 centimeters long. They know nothing about the outside world, but they're already dangerous, venomous, and aggressive. In a short time, each of these snakes will become an adult, will grow to 3 meters, and will be called the Nightmare of Africa. The vast majority of snake species leave their offspring to the mercy of fate, but there are exceptions. For example, female pythons guard their clutch and even keep their eggs warm. Mud snakes and even king cobras do the same. They guard the eggs until they hatch. Also, not all snakes lay eggs. There are snakes in the world for which live birth is quite natural. Sea snakes and vipers, for example, are viviparous. The foetus develops in the womb until birth 
due to their habitat. That's a wrap, everyone. Which baby animal won your heart for being the cutest? Drop your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for tuning in and catch you next time.